Hey everyone, what's up? So, I've been thinking lately, as uh, a person tends to do when they have uh, nothing to do and uh, a brain, and there was a, a particular uh, video series on YouTube that, uh, that got me thinking. It was on the Atheist Experience channel, and it was about uh, it was a three-parter, and it was about um, a caller that called into the show and attempted to give, you know, the, 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 the same sort of bullshit arguments for creationism you know, that I'm sure we've all heard before. Um, things like uh, polonium halos, Mount Sinai, uh, giant skeletons, you know, the usual. You, you've, you've probably seen it, um, because if you're subscribed to me, you're probably subscribed to the Atheist Experience uh, show on YouTube anyway. And this got me thinking, because this, this, this guy who called up didn't really seem to understand how these things did not prove uh, creationism and thus his God. And it made me think of um, CSI. Now, for those of you who don't know CSI, you know, it's a... Uh, a TV uh, crime show that, that focuses, from from what I can see, very heavily on forensic side. So they go to a crime scene, they pick out, uh, they pick up fingerprints, uh, blood samples, hair follicles, things like that, match them up to people. Um, you know, go on a, you know, go on a chase, find the person, interrogate them, find out he's not the suspect. Uh, you know, find find some more evidence. You know, find out that he really is a suspect, and they get him just before the hour's gone, and hopefully they're throwing a bit of romance in there as well. That's that, that's what it seems like to me. I, I've, ne I've never really actually watched it, um, and they, they have so many uh, iterations now. You know, CSI Miami, Las Vegas, uh, Des Moines, I Idaho. I don't know. I, d I don't watch it, but it kind of um, seemed to me that the kind same kind of um, evidentiary standards that they have in CSI in normal, um, you know, not just in crime shows, but um, how they find suspects for crimes uh, in real life can be applied to uh, the evidentiary standards in w when you're trying to prove something in science. Now this this is obvious uh, to, to most of us, but I think with creationists they, they, they seem to have a bit of a disconnect here. They, they seem to think that um, things that are entirely disconnected from God seem to seem to prove God like, you know, the giant skeletons, uh, the, this, this caller in the atheist experience seem to think that this proved God. Now I'm going to try and uh, explain why. Or, or why, why this is this is bullshit? You know, this is this is primarily for them. Uh, I'm doing a, I'm doing a service here, really. I, I, I'm just I, I'm not just that nice of a person. So, you have these giant skeletons, and apparently the Bible says that there were there were giants among the earth. Now, this this does not fly because first off, you still have to prove that there is a God first. Then you have to prove that the the Bible is true, and then maybe then you can try and tie that towards the, uh, the the skeletons that people found. If indeed they find some, which they haven't because the, all the ones that they found so far have, have uh, been proven to be hoaxes. And just like, um, and to try and equate that to a crime scene, if there was a, a suspect and we find out um, that for a murder that took place, say at 9 o'clock on a Tuesday, and we find out this, this suspect doesn't have an alibi for 9 o'clock on a Tuesday, they're not going to automatically arrest that person, you know? Um, sure, he may not have an alibi, but we still have to tie this person to the crime scene. You know, just because they don't have an alibi does not mean they automatically did it. I mean, it's a uh, it's a big clue, but that's all it is, is a clue. You still have to tie that particular person to that particular crime scene. You know, they have to you have to prove that they are there at that time and not somewhere else. Um, as I said, just like with the the, the skeleton in uh, the skeletons that, that have supposedly been found. Even then, it's not proof for your God, because you still have to prove God exists in the first place. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. And, you know, Mount Sinai, uh, you know, prophecies being fulfilled. I mean, they're, they're so vague that, you know, I could I, I, I can make, you know, ten prophecies now uh, in a year. Two of them could come true, and, you know, I could be seen as a soothsayer and make lots of money. But I'm not, because I'm intellectually honest. But anyway, so just like in CSI or any other crime program, you can't just have little bubbles of uh, evidence that don't connect to each other. They all have to connect. Uh, it, there, it, it's something called the, the triangle of evidence or something, I can't remember. If you have uh, this person, you have to connect them directly to the crime scene. And you have, not only that, you have to directly connect them to the crime scene at the exact time that this person was um, supposed to have died. Um, not only that, if you find evidence, you also have to directly connect the evidence to the person as well. So you can make a, a fully formed case and uh, you know a judge can look at this and say, okay, it, it's logically uh, conclusive based on the evidence and based on the direct connections to you know the crime scene, the evidence, and the suspect that this person did the crime. Just like you have to do with 
evidence for creationism. You know, I know there isn't any, but you know, for, for the, this, this is for the creationists. Um, you have to prove every single uh, connection is true, and then directly tie them to every to uh, the other pieces of evidence that you have. So, if something discredits evolution, that does not mean that God exists. It just means that evolution is wrong. It doesn't tie into there being a God because there is no direct correlation there. If you, I, ho I hope you see what I'm saying. Um, I think that's about it, really. Um, you can tell this is a, a video that's been done pretty much on the fly, can't you? Um, anyway, uh, I, I hope everyone's okay. I've been, I, I, I'm rambling on to enough now, and uh, you know, you guys probably wanted to see this end of the video. Thankfully, it's not gone on for too long. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, everyone, and cheerio.